So you've written a cool Python script, but instead of running it locally on your computer, you want to execute and schedule it online. In this video, we are going to do exactly that. I will show you how to run your Python code daily for free. The setup takes only a couple of minutes, so without wasting any more time, let's dive in. For this example, I have written the following Python file. The code you can see connects to different services using APIs to send me an email with the current weather forecast, the latest news and my to-dos for today. When I execute it, I receive my email and it looks like this. Ok, now that we know the code works locally, let's deploy it. For that we will be using Python anywhere. Now, frankly speaking, the website and user interface looks a bit old school, but their service is really amazing. All you need to do is to sign up for a free account. Once you are logged in, you should see your dashboard. From here, navigate to files. On this page, we will upload our Python file. To keep things organized, I will first create a new folder. In my case, I will name it morning email and then click this button here. Inside this directory, I will now upload my files. Please note, you can only upload one file at a time. As you have probably guessed, just click the button here and select your Python file from your computer. In my case, I also need the .env file where I have my credentials like my email password to actually send the email. So I will also upload that file to Python Anywhere. Now before we schedule this file, you want to make sure there are no errors when running your script. To test it, click on your Python file. This will open the Python Anywhere editor. Simply click on the one button to execute your code. Once you click the button, the terminal will open and you can see if there are any errors, just like in my case. The error message shows that Python Anywhere did not find the module Todoist API Python. And the reason is simple. I'm using the Todoist package in my app to connect to my to-do list. And that is a third party package, which I installed locally on my machine using pip. So to run my code on Python Anywhere, I also need to install that package there. To do so, I will duplicate my current tab and then go to my dashboard. Just like on your computer, you can open the console in Python Anywhere. Click on consoles and then open a new bash terminal. Here you want to type pip3 install dash dash user followed by the package name you want to install. In my case, the package is called todoist underscore api underscore python. Once installed, let me navigate back to my other tab to rerun the code. Alright, so this time I didn't get any error message. Instead, it printed that my email has been successfully sent. So when I check my inbox, we can see the new email. Alright, now that we know everything is working, you can go ahead and schedule your script. To do so, let me copy the path to my Python file to my clipboard. You can find the path under your recent files. Next, click on task. On this page, you want to insert the path you just copied. Lastly, you just need to set up the time at which you want to run your script. Keep in mind it's in UTC and you can see the current UTC time up here. Ok, and as a last step, hit the create button. And if everything goes well, I should soon receive an email. Alright, and here it is. And that's basically how you can schedule your Python scripts for free in just a few minutes. Before you go, let me also share some really important hints. If for some reason your code execution fails, the first place I would check is the logs. Here you will then see additional information and see what went wrong. Another thing I want to highlight is that with Python Anywhere, you can also easily host your web applications. So if you have developed a Django or Flask application, you can also host it here for free. Currently FastAPI is not supported, but it's in beta testing. So depending on when you are watching this video, it might be also possible to host fast API apps. And the cool thing is, you also get a free MySQL database with your account. There's also a Postgres database option available, but that is only for paid users. And speaking of pricing and plans, let's have a look at what you can and cannot do with your free account. With the free account, you can only have one daily task. I am personally on the hacker plan. Here you can schedule up to 20 tasks. And the cool thing is, you can also run them hourly instead of daily. And you can also set up a task that is always running. Ok, and lastly, let me also point out some other questions you might already have. In this tutorial, we kept things pretty simple by using the file upload button. However, you can also clone your GitHub repository. So instead of always uploading new files in case you have made some changes to your code, you could just pull the latest changes from your GitHub repo. For that, you can also use the bash console. 
If that is something you're interested in, then check out the instructions over here. I will leave the link in the description below. And lastly, let me also point out some limitations that come with the free plan. You are only allowed to access certain websites from your free account. For example, for retrieving the latest news, I use the API from MediaStack. So this API is on their whitelist. So my recommendation would be to first check out the whitelist if you are planning to connect your script to other websites and services. You will find the link to the whitelist in the description below. By the way, only free users have those limitations. Paid accounts have unrestricted access. Okay, and for those who are actually interested in the code I use in this tutorial, you will also find it on GitHub. And you guessed it already, the link is in the description. Okay guys, and with that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.